Today on the channel, somebody call a doctor. Doc Gallows, that is, with Doc Gallows Super 7 Ultimate Edition. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another wrestling unboxing and review. And today we're taking a look at the Super 7 Doc Gallows. But remember, for all your Super 7 needs, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And Super 7, no strangers to wrestling figures at this point, as we've seen New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 1, New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 2, and then of course the Matt Cardona and Brian Myers figures. We've unboxed all those on the channel, so if you're interested, go back, check those ones out. But today we start in on the Good Brothers and we're starting with Doc Gallows, another guy no stranger to action figures. We've had figures from Jax, Mattel in the past. Who knows, possibly Jazzwares one day. I'm guessing no, but I guess stranger things have happened. But we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. A lot of packaging to look at here. We're going to open it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's kick it off here with Doc Gallows. Now, as we all know, with Super 7, we get the nice cardboard protective boxes. I always say, make sure you keep these boxes. Keep the nice packaging. Nice and pretty. But pretty plain Jane. Pretty plain Jane logo for Doc Gallows right there. Not a lot of meat on the bone on the packaging with this one. But we got that. So then we get to the official packaging. And much like Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, who had their title belts wrapped around their figures, we got that same thing with Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. We're going to unbox that one in a separate video, so be on the lookout for that video. Uh, but you can see right there, Talking Shop Champion. Very cool, neat idea. A little hard to get off. you got to be careful. It is cardboard. You don't want to rip it. It does clip on the back here, of course. But as you can see, Talking Shop right there. I believe that is their podcast, so check out Talking Shop if you want. Beer Ski, it says at the top right there. So then you get down to Doc Gallows in the package here, and it's all camouflaged out. Uh, you know, he wears a lot of camouflage these days, so it's going with the gear and everything else, so that makes sense. Almost looks like this would be like some kind of a G.I. Joe Super 7 unboxing, but we're not quite there yet. We've got the Good Brother logo right there amidst all the cam camouflage. I do like the bullet holes that we got going on throughout the package here. One thing to note is there's actually holes through the cardboard. It's not just an effect. So I think that is pretty cool for the packaging. Uh, and you got that on the back. There's Doc Gallows like we saw in the brown cardboard box. Same thing there. But then, of course, Super 7, the magic happens when you reveal the outer cover. You take this bad boy off. Stick him over to the side. See you later. Then you get Doc Gallows in the packaging. So for their wrestling line, of course, the Matt and Brian, the uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling figures, we got the ring post, the ring ropes. Uh, pretty fitting, nice uniformity across the board there. You got Doc Gallows, Good Brothers, and then you got the Super 7 accessories. Tons and tons of hands, every single hand you could want. Uh, you got heads, you got a beer can it looks like. Yep, beer can. So we're going to dive into all those things, of course. Wraps around both sides with the ropes. Got the black and the green packaging, kind of going with the camouflage feel. And then on the back, you got Doc Gallows in his camouflage gear. You got the blur back there. You got the big LG at the very top. Let's see what it says here about the old big LG Doc Gallows. The big LG is one tough brother, Hoot. As one half of the Good Brothers, the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Doc Gallows is the type of guy to let his opponents know they were in a fight, especially after he hits them with the big boot. When the dust settles, it's beer skis in hand and championships around waist, and that's too sweet. So there you go. Very, very interesting times right there. So there it is. There's Doc Gallows with all this, getting it out, twist ties, all that fun stuff. Let me get him out of the package, and we'll start the review then. All right, and we're back, and we've got Doc Gallows out of the package. I got the twist ties removed, so now he's just like any other uh, figure we're taking out in the old plastic prison. Looking good here. We got the beer can. We got tons and tons of hands. We got three extra heads plus a head on him. So four heads in total here. A lot you could do with this old big LG figure. But let's crack him out. Let's get these hands out of here. Uh, every single hand. I mean, boy, we got every hand you could ever want with this one. Uh, that is for sure. Let's pop them all out. There it is. Beer can. Got to get those beer cans in there. Extra head. Extra head. Extra head. 
all the heads too and you can as usual get a mattel body or get another cheaper body put these heads on them uh, you can do some design and do some uh, choose your own adventure work if you want to off to the side see you later there it goes all right let's get down to things let's start with this beer can i guess uh, a little bit big it feels bigger than the andre the giant beer can we've gotten so i think this is possibly a different sculpt here uh beer ski talking shop beer ski it says on there it's got uh, pictures of the group yeah it does so a little cartoon artwork i believe they have beer and liquor they sell i don't know i don't pay attention to that kind of stuff old kyle you know he's all straight edge straight edge uh but yeah very cool accessory here though for sure so you got that beer can you can get reuse out of that if need be then we get to hands we get the open hands we're ready to slap some faces uh we got wrist tape throughout all over the hands so we do like that we got that going there's two slapping hands you got two uh, maniacal crazy man hands going there right there we've got some bent fingers that might need to be moved around into place but you got two crazy gnarly hands right there we get the two pointer hands you got to be pointing at somebody you guys know how that goes you got to give them the old point every once in a while i get that more than most then you got two uh c grip hands for holding chairs holding baseball bats holding accessories whatever you need to do right there then you get down to the old Doc Gallows figure. We'll look at the heads here separately. I'm looking at him. I'm giving it a look. So now the head that is on him does look a little strange. But, you know, he's had a lot of looks over the years. Uh, but right now this seems like a, a very short beard for him. You know, it's always down to almost braided into some beads and stuff in there. Or it's down to kind of a point Jim Neidhart style almost. So a little bit short on the beard on this one. But some of the other ones make up for it. We'll discuss those in a second. Now, we understand Super 7 by now, the articulation. You got nice tight ratchets on the arms. Your arms go up all the way around, of course. You got the bicep swivel. You got the elbow, but they are single-jointed elbow. This is Super 7, remember. Uh, hands up, down, all around, but they are removable. Head removable, spins all around like you want it to, of course. Uh, same thing on the other arm. Very tight joints, as they should be. We need tight joints out of the package. Nothing worse than loose. Uh, the waist does turn. There is the diaphragm at the top. Not a ton of mobility out of that one. No butterfly joints with this one either. Uh, then you get the uh, legs here. You get the knee, single jointed knee. Boy, these ankles. There we go. They're a little tight. Very ratchety, very tight though on the ankles. Uh, no thigh swivel on this one. And then you got the legs that go side to side. Not tons and tons. Of, well, that's more articulation than he would have in a match. So I guess we call that good. Uh, camo throughout, as we have saw with the package. A little looseness on the legs. Just a little side-to-side -side looseness. Uh, not as tight as I would like it. I would like that a little bit tighter in the legs for sure. Uh, he does have his vest. It is removable. Uh, it is one I would want to keep on, though. Uh, I believe it's been said before he does wear like kind of a one-piece type vest, and this should be tight together. Uh, so that is a little uh, inconsistent with what he does in uh, actual wrestling. Um, you know, I do think Super 7, we've talked about it before, they kill it in so many lines. They do struggle with wrestling figures. And I shouldn't say wrestling figures. Figures of actual humans that are actual human beings. There is some struggles with that from time to time. I don't think, I think you take this head off, for instance. I don't know if you would say this is Doc Gallows. I can see somebody saying, well, this is Carl Anderson's head. Uh, but where it loses me a little bit is in the chest and the ab crunch. we got that big ab crunch there. No different than Mattel. Uh, but I wish it could be hidden a little bit more or kind of shaded in there a little bit more. Uh, it just looks a little too toy. I mean, it is a toy. It is an action figure. But almost Barbie doll-esque is kind of what it reminds me of. It's got that sheen to it. It just looks a tad strange. Uh, but I should say the paint work here on the camo is good. I don't see any problems. Boy, these loose uh, legs, though, are a little annoying, I, I got to admit. Uh, the tattoo work is very nice. I'm not super familiar with all of his tattoos, but I do like that we got some colorful tattoos in there. Uh, that is a very good look. You got big LG on the back of his vest. Uh, yeah. So the tattoos, they look like they make sense. I'm, like I said, I'm not super familiar with all the details of his tattoos. I like the boot buckles on the boots and all the way down to the uh, feet. So a lot going on there. Uh, does he fit on a stand? That's always a question we always check as well. And, of course, he does. He fits perfectly on a stand. Head removable. Let's pop that head off. Let's drop that stand on the floor. And let's pop this head on. Let's see which head we like best. Like I said, you could go through and put every single head on uh, a different body if you really wanted to. Uh, if you, you're into that kind of thing. I do think this looks better. This seems a lot more like him. Uh, so that first head that's on him is not my favorite. So that's a poor choice to put on him, at least... 
uh, how I view his heads here. This feels a lot more like Doc Gallows with the longer goatee. Maybe that's just what we're used to there. Pop that off, maybe. Ugh, they're very tight to go on and off. <laughs> we got the screaming head. That's kind of funny. I'll put it on there. That's that's not too shabby either. Yeah, that's not bad. There is a little scuffage on the nose on this one. That is unfortunate. And then I got a big piece of paint out on his mustache. So I'm just noticing that as well. Uh, so a little quality issues. And then you look at the back of the head. There's almost some red paint on the back. I don't know what's going on with that. So we got a few quality control issues on that one. And then we get the head with the beer ski baseball hat. That's kind of cool. Once again, it does look a little bit like Carl Anderson, which is fitting. It's his tag team partner. Pop that on. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm leaning towards uh, displaying him with the baseball hat. It gives a little bit more detail to this one. Uh, you know, is this guy toyetic? Is uh, the big LG Dot Gallows toyetic? I'd say fairly toyetic. He looks a little bit like a G.I. Joe character. Uh, but the hat definitely helps uh, his toyeticness. Is that a word? It is now. Uh, we're going to put this hand on here. We're going to have him hold the old beer can. See what's doing. Will this beer can fit in the hand? Heck no, it won't. Okay, that doesn't make sense. So the beer can... That doesn't make a lot of sense that the beer can doesn't fit. I guess it does fit more in the big, crazy, outstretched hand. So I guess that's the plan they got there. I figured it was for the C-grip hand. It is for the gnarly crazy man hands is what the beer can's for, apparently. And he's even got a little bend, but it's not going to sit in there very tight. You turn it, it's going to fall out, but it will stand if you have it just stationary there. Uh, so that's all right. I mean, it's a neat accessory, but I don't know. Is a beer can a big accessory? Yes, we got all the hands. I, I would have liked some kind of wrestling accessory, uh, and I don't know what that would be just thinking off the top of my head. A chair, a table, uh, something to give it that wrestling figure feel. It's, it's just a bunch of hands and a beer can and a bunch of heads. Maybe take one head away, take a set of hands away, give us a different accessory. I think that would help the figure. But, you know, if you're into wrestling figures, you're into the big LG, I'm not sure if we're going to get AEW figures of these guys. So these could stand in maybe for your AEW figures for now. Uh, you know, a lot of possibilities. Put them with the New Japan Pro Wrestling figures. Uh, let's see, how do they scale? I guess I'll put him here flat. He will stand by himself. Let's see how he scales with some other stuff. How about AEW Jazzwares? Kenny Omega, I think that looks about right to me. Uh, you know, Big LG's a big dude. That's why he's big in his name. Uh, looks good with Kenny Omega right here. You get him next to Matt and Brian. How about the uh, Major Brothers right there? So some other Super 7 wrestling figures. If I can get them all to stand. I think that looks good, too. That looks like they belong in the same universe with Kenny Omega right there. Uh, how about the Mattel version? Now, this is where we really business will really pick up here. Let's move some of these guys off to the side. Oh, Kenny right there. Oh, what a glamour shot this is right there. But then you got Luke Gallows. Uh, a good Mattel. I really enjoyed this one. I still enjoy this one to the day. So that's a, another figure of him. Looking pretty awesome, looking pretty snazzy right there. I think that makes sense. Same exact height, so they got that going on. Really just a modern update. And then you got the Mattel, then let's go to Jax. How about we get old Festus? You guys remember Festus. Oh, ring that bell, and man, LG's going crazy. Not as many tattoos back then either. But we got the Jax Ruthless Aggression Festus, and we got the Deluxe Aggression Festus. So really scale-wise, this fits in across the board. This looks really good. Uh, this helps this figure to me, as when it stands by itself, you can see some of the issues, some of that. But then you mix it in with some other figures, and I think that does help. And that's how most of us display our wrestling figures in a group. I'm still going back and forth if I display these guys with my New Japan Pro Wrestling figures or do I put them on my AEW shelf? You know, the AEW shelf is growing every day, it seems like. They've been a part of AEW. Maybe I put that in there. Not exactly sure. And it'll be interesting, much like the Bat Matt and Brian figures, I believe we're going to get some repaints and re-releases of these in different paint jobs. Getting the most out of your molds. You guys know how it's done by now. I wonder if we're going to get the same thing with the Good Brothers. Will we get them in their big, like, robes they wear to the ring, stuff like that? I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see that down the line. So I guess stay tuned to Super 7. And if you're interested in this figure right now, Big Bad Toy Store is shipping right now. That's where I picked mine up from. You can get it. I always recommend Big Bad Toy Store. You don't pay till it ships. You don't have to pay a year, year and a half sometimes early. You can get at it for it with Big Bad Toy Store, and it'll come to you within like four days or something like that. So if you're interested in the Big LG or Carl Anderson, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description below support the channel so there it is there is the big lg let me know your thoughts you picking this up you passing on it you playing the long game 
let me know in the comments down below. You made it this far, you might as well thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for the big LG Doc Gallows Festus, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.